The first step to creating a new asset within CounterWallet is funding your CounterWallet account with at least half an XCP, as that's the fee required to issue a new asset within CounterParty. After your account is funded, scroll to Address Actions, select Create Asset, give your asset a name, a description, decide on the quantity of units that you'd like to issue with your new asset, decide if your asset is divisible or non-divisible, and if your asset is callable. Making an asset callable gives you the right to call back your asset from whoever you issued it to for a specified price at a specified time. In the case of this tutorial, I did not want a divisible or callable asset, so I'm going to deselect those, cancel out of this, and go to test company, which is the asset that I created for this tutorial. The most important functionality on this dropdown is the ability to pay dividends. You can pay dividends to your shareholders in Bitcoin, XCP, or any other user-created currency within CounterParty. The process is very straightforward. You simply select the currency of your choice, the amount that you would like to pay, and this is per share, so each share would get 0 .0001 of a Bitcoin for their first dividend. And then you just hit pay dividend, and you're done. A couple other functionalities that I'd like to go over include the ability to issue additional units of your asset. So if you had a currency that was inflationary, you could issue additional units of, of, of your currency here. You can also counteract this by locking the asset issuance, preventing anybody from creating additional units. And you can also transfer ownership. This is going to come in handy if I were to sell Test Company and I not only wanted to get rid of my shares but also remove my ownership of the asset and my ability to uh, create uh, more units or rename the description, anything like that. So this is definitely a very nice uh, feature to have. Um, beyond that, it's, it's fairly simple. You can send your asset just as you would Bitcoin. You can show the, the information on the asset, which is what we looked at earlier. And you can just change the asset description. 